Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. What is this? Wow! What a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Hey, you! Stop! Uh... Watch out! It's a monster! Run, Jill! He's insane! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being.
Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. Oh! We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Jill! <laughs> Don't scare me. That's what I was going to say. Aren't you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah, you're right. But just take a look at this. It's forest. Oh my god. 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 to find out what caused Forrest's death. God, God, God. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. But Barry... I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. God, God, God. Aren't you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah, you're right. But just take a look at this. It's Forrest. Oh, my God. God, God, God. But Barry, didn't you see you're going back? Oh my God, God, God. It's forest. Can you look around the first floor, Jill? But Barry. This must have been forests. Barry. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. It looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like forest. 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 find out what caused Forrest's death. Jill? I think I'm getting old. It seems that talking to myself is becoming a habit. Chris, this house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Here's my radio. You should keep it. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the wound is abnormally large. large. This house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch. Terrible demons. Richard, he needs serum. Serum? We left it in another room. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. I'm from the Alpha team. Let's go. Yes, sir! Chris, be careful. It was a huge snake. And also po poisonous. Ugh. Take a look. Here's the serum. Alpha team. Chris Red, Chris Red, Chris Red. Here's the serum. Al Al Alpha team. Chris Red, Chris Red. Here's the serum. 
Alpha Team. This is the last dose. Thanks. Don't go doing reckless things anymore. You were bitten by a poisonous snake. It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Ugh. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. Here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... Richard! No! Richard! It must be a STARS radio. It's a little bit broken, but it might still be usable. I'll take it with me. Door down, 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 Door down, down, down. 
too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. Yeah. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check, 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 check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? But Barry... Now, let's get back to searching for the lost cap- Barry! Look, uh, I lost my way. Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this.
Is that you, Rebecca? It's me, Chris. Are you all right? Yes. I have decided not to grieve any longer. Wait, what is that? It's the Moonlight Sonata. May I practice for a while? Is that you, Jill? What's going on? How come you look so scared? Look at this. Oh! What do you think of it? I've been thinking something is wrong with this house. Right. Hey, what is this? There's a page missing. Yeah, I thought about that too. Perhaps that was the most important part. Oh! I think I'll stay and look around more. What are you worrying about? Nothing. Don't worry. Go to hell. Wesker! Chris! You're alive. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost yeah, track of her while we were boy. scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. Ah! If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. I think I'm getting old. It seems that talking to myself is becoming a habit. Talking to yourself? Barry, something must have happened to you. Am I wrong? You sound strange. Well, it seems I made you worry. But don't. Maybe I have been a nervous wreck since all of these strange things started happening. Well, I think I'll go out and get some fresh air for a change. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster. I'll just go and get some fresh air and... be eaten by a monster.
Hey, Barry. I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster. Oh! Are you okay, Barry? I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster.
to start by umbrella. It's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. What? Oh! Oh no! It's no use. You could... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion and kill the root. Rebecca, please. Kill the root. Kill the root. Take this file with you. Use the information in it 
in order to make the potion and kill the root. Rebecca, please. Yes, sir. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Let's try. Yes, I can! Chris! Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Saved again. Oh! I can't believe it! Are you okay? We got to the root of the problem. We got to the root of the problem. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you're safe. We got to the root of the problem. I know, I know. Root, 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 root. You guys are idiots. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my stars' team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move. And if you do, I'll kill you. I have something to show you. Now, walk. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! Tyrant! Tyrant. Ultimate life and tyrant. tyrant. Ultimate life and tyrant. Ultimate life and ultimate life and. Chris? <laughs> Stop it! Wesker, you're pitiful. 
This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? <laughs> Wesker? You did a fine job, Perry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Joe. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. You are so... So cruel, 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 cruel. <laughs> Better yet. Do you ever think about throwing in the towel? No. Do you? Yeah, I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. I won't rest until the moment he finally stops breathing. Chris Redfield. So, you're still alive. Can't kill a ghost, Chris. How many times do I have to kill you? That was always your problem. You never learn. You cannot kill a god. It certainly seems that way. So are we going to do this, or what? your move. You're gonna die here today, and you're not coming back. We'll see about that. All right then.
May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry. And eat doggy food. May 20th, 1998. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so... Killed him.